Hello everybody! Welcome to the OK Good Review Channel. And today guys, we have... Yes, indeed! The rock candy version of Spider Glen, guys. From Funko, from Marvel, from Hot Topic. Now, guys, I have never been in a Hot Topic in my entire life. I have no idea what it is. My guess, from what I've been able to gather, is it some sort of a clothing store, like a Gap, possibly, or something along those lines, guys. However, I don't know. I've never been to one. I could not tell you what's inside one. I'm assuming store staff, probably cash register of some type, but I don't know what they have. What Hot Topic is. The name suggests like trendy stuff, so I'm guessing it's that. But I don't know what it actually is, but apparently they're a big enough deal that they have their own exclusives from Funko. And let's take a look at the box here real quick. You can see we've got this kind of thing. We've got the bottom of this. And I don't even know when when this was out. Maybe it's current. Guys, maybe it's current. I don't know. I'm not seeing a date on this, actually. Um, so, so maybe it is. Maybe it's there. I don't know. Guys, over here on the side is part of the Marvel line. So we have She-Hulk. Or is that Gamora? One of the two. We have Captain Marvel. We have... The normal Spider Gwen guys, and we have Lady Thor. And in the back, we can find out for sure which is which is which is which, and it is Captain Marvel guys. Leave us a comment. Let us know if you are excited about the Captain Marvel movie coming out, guys. I uh, I know I am. I'm really interested to see what the action figure looks like, guys. I have that one on my radar for sure. We have She Hulk guys. I probably won't ever be getting that one. Looks a lot like Gamora to me there in this sort of line. Uh, we have Spider-Gwen. So you can see Spider-Gwen. Spider-Gwen. You can see there the, fa the face sculpt versus the mask. I like the mask. Uh, the face sculpt, I think, is okay. I think the face sculpt has been really good, guys. In the comic books, a lot of the time, it's been okay a lot of the time. Here, I think it's okay. It's kind of a cutesy pie thing, which works for... Starfire, Raven, and Wonder Woman. I don't think it works here at all particularly well. So I've been looking for this for a while. And of course we have Lady Thor uh, with her mask on. Even the Captain Marvel I think is... I mean I get it. Rock Candy is supposed to be a cutie pie type line. Uh, and I like Rock Candy. I've seen that now guys. They've started doing some male figures including Harry Potter. Guys, please comment let us know if you like Harry Potter. Myself and Leo are not fans at all. We've never read the books. We've never watched the movies. I've seen parts of the movies, but it, it never, I guess, really gripped me or anything like that. But I know a lot of people out there like it, so it, it seems like there's some, some cool parts to it, guys. We just haven't, it just hasn't been something that's ever clicked with us, guys. Uh, but leave us a comment let us know if you like that, too. But I like the Rock Candy line. I think it's a really interesting um, approach to figures, guys. And it, it definitely is more to my seating where it's, uh, you can you can see it's more to more of a statue than it is an action figure. And I like, I like that, guys. So you can see here it comes in its own box, its own case. Uh, you could theoretically display it like this, I guess, if you wanted to. I don't want to. And guys, you can check out where a lot of my figures go in my office, which is exactly where where uh, Gwenny is going to be going after this, guys. Uh, you can check that out in, in the collection, the office collection video, guys, for 2018. And, oh, we have a bobblehead here, too. Joy. Huh. That's, that's interesting, guys. So I guess this is the, is this the Hot Topic thing? Because a lot of the other ones aren't bobbleheads. I actually don't really like the bobblehead thing. Huh. So you can see, guys, interesting. There's the... A sort of hollow head and it doesn't seem like a way that you can make this 
a non-bobble head. Well, I guess I could glue it. If you glued it here, it would give it a lot more stability. You glued it at these two points down here. However, guys, I mean, it's not, it's not a crazy amount of bobble to it, so uh, that'll be all right. I'll live with it. And Spider Gwen and her turquoise shoes, guys. I love the shoes. I do. I do. I love the shoes. I think that's one of the coolest parts, actually, of her costume. I like the spiky nature of the costume as well, of course. And here she is. In the back, we have sort of a spider motif here. Uh, very clean lines. You can't... Can you move any of this? I don't know if you can move. Can you move? Move her head a little bit. Uh, this is good, though. I like this, where you, her, her hands fit into this cowl really well, guys. Which, I mean, there's still a little bit of shake, rattle, and roll there. I, that part I don't... I'm not in love with, but it isn't it isn't too bad. It's minimized. It's not as crazy as some of the other bobbleheads you see. Cowl itself looks okay. There's some stray. I don't know if you guys can pick this out, but there's some stray pink right here where my finger is. It looks like they didn't use necessarily the cleanest. I don't know where, where actually a lot of this came from, guys. But there's like little pink bits in here. That's weird. Of course, this is, I guess it's probably from this plastic here. I would have, I would have thought this was paint. It's almost like there's little strands in there of, of the paint. And you can see on the underside there, there's some, I guess, overspray possibly or something. But I don't know where that would have come from because there's no pink on, on the back of her at all. Uh, everything is cemented in place. Her legs do not move or anything like that. Neither do her arms. Whatever pose your Funko Rock Candy comes in, guys, is the pose for that figure. Uh, here she almost, almost am tempted to add a little black to her, her eye mask here, just because this is almost an alien overtone uh, with this sort of stylizing on this figure, guys. But this definitely came out a lot better than the, than the metal figs, guys, which it took me quite a while to actually fix that one to the point where, where it was set. And, of course, like we've seen these guys. Into the Spider-Verse is coming out. Gwen Stacy. Spider-Gwen plays a pretty important part in that, guys, from what I'm gathering. Uh, I have seen her action figure for Spider-Verse. I don't like it. It's very, very thin. In fact, it's overly thin for me, guys, so I won't be getting that one. And the same thing, though, with the Miles Morales Spider-Man. Uh, the same thing with every figure I've seen for Into the Spider-Verse. So at this point, I haven't seen any toys for that that I'm excited about. Uh, I didn't plan on buying another Spider-Gwen. Spider-Gwen, guys, in the comic book series, as of this filming, is done. She has since, after um, after the actual Spider-Geddon, she has since gone over to Ghost Spider. Looking forward to some new Ghost Spider figures, guys. Basically, what happened there was, this is a very popular character. who had nothing to do with the character, but Jason Latour and Robbie Robertson and... Uh, the guy that, there's another guy in there too, Renzi or something like that. Those guys, that writing team, did their run. So their run is over, and with their run being over, they have moved away from Spider-Gwen towards Ghost Spider. So it's kind of interesting that they, they chose to make that move, but I'm definitely looking forward to Ghost Spider. I hope this character has a, a really long run, guys. I have loved these comic books. This character right here is really, really what brought me back into it, guys. I went from just a handful of comics, guys, to I've got several collected books now. I've got almost a full collector's box, guys, of uh, standalone comics. And this is all just in probably the last four months or so, five months, maybe, something like that. So it's it's really it's really come on pretty strong. Probably four months actually, guys. So and I haven't quite finished reading all of them, guys. I'm kind of in the midst of that. But but Spider Gwen and Latour and Robinson and Renzi, those guys all really brought me back into it with this character here. And uh, of course, a uh, heartfelt thank you guys for doing that. I never knew how much I missed it until I started coming back to it, guys. And it was one of those things I didn't mean to ever set it down for that long because I used to read comic books all the time when I was a kid and that's something that Leo is is really getting into as well guys and I just kind of put them down for other reading material guys and I always meant to pick it back up and I just didn't you know I just got distracted with 
it's where life goes sometimes, guys. You just get distracted with a million other things. And probably, guys, you know, had, had not Leo come along, I probably would never have gotten back into comics. So it's just kind of interesting, guys. You never quite know the course you're, uh, that life is ever going to take you guys. So it's, it's, a, it's an adventure, guys. It's always a wild adventure. And there's a lot of intangibles like that where you just stop and think for a minute and you just, just kind of go, wow, you know. And then that's definitely comic books in 2018 have been one of the big wow moments for me. And I know I kind of went on a diatribe like this for the Marvel Legends Silk review, guys. Uh, another female spider character. And uh, so, guys, uh, thank you for indulging me on both of these. Anyway, guys, here's a look at the Funko Rock Candy Marvel Hot Topic exclusive version of Spider-Gwen, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this look at taking her out of her plastic prison, guys, and, and taking some nice close-ups of what's a really, really a pretty cool figure. I don't like the bobblehead thing, but it's not the end of the world, guys. If you did enjoy this, guys, please give us the old thumbs up, guys. Hit the red subscribe button if you've not done so already, guys. Hit the blue bell next to the red subscribe button if you'd like to be notified of the latest greatest content as because available, including, even though I keep saying that I think I'm pretty close to done, I'm a liar. I'm a liar, including guys, more stuff from my office. <laughs> I keep I keep just coming across things, and this is one of them. There's other stuff as well. I come across it, and I'm like, that'd be really cool, and I got to have that, and I want that too. And so, and then there's a couple spots I got to replace downstairs, guys. So as close as I was to being done, I, I guess I... Uh, I'm a lot less close than apparently I figured, guys. So there'll be more of the office stuff, but guys, there'll be more superheroes as well, guys. Leo really likes a lot of the superhero action figures, guys. So anyway, definitely stay tuned for all that and a lot more, guys. Uh, either follow us on our Twitter feed or, like I said, guys, a blue button. For the latest, greatest content as it becomes available, guys. Twitter, any changes to the channel, including new playlists, guys, is updated in live, live time. So... Leave us a comment if you'd like to. If there are anything you would like us to see as far as action figures or, or that type of thing, guys, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, I will be doing, of course, another Office video in October of 2019 as well. So stay tuned for that. But there's a whole playlist dedicated to my office, guys. If you want to see what's current, that is by far the most upkept playlist in our entire uh, in our entire channel. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for us this time. We will see you all next time. Bye-bye.